So I log on to YouTube, and I see all these videos to Dr. Trey, and I have to go see what he's up to. Since people are actually talking about him now, I guess I'll talk about him. This guy has the Wii U launch goggles before the Wii U is even out. Poor, poor soul. Just because something has better hardware doesn't make it the definitive version. Haven't you learned this since you're a Wii owner? I mean, there are lots of Wii games that are the better version of all these big games. Like, for example, a lot of people would argue that Ghostbusters is best played on the Wii because of just various different issues. The fact that it doesn't, like, it doesn't fucking crash or have a really difficult level in it. And there's tons of arguments to why that's the best version of Ghostbusters. And that's just one example of where the Wii actually has a better version than its competition. But let's get into something I find absolutely just hilarious. Alright, people are, are on here saying that the best version w will be on the Wii U because it has better hardware than the Xbox 360 or PS3. Um, this generation is the biggest example that that's not true. It was never true. Um, let's, let's go back to last generation first. Resident Evil 4. The best version was on GameCube. Um, at last generation. Although the PS2 had more features, it kind of sucked because of all different frame rate issues, but the GameCube had superior hardware. But a PC version came out. But that PC version was absolutely horrible because it had unchangeable controls and it could only be used with the keyboard. It was unplayable, it had different bugs and glitches, and it was just terrible. It looked better than the GameCube and the PS2 by far, but the controls were so bad and the frame rate issues and parts of the game were so broken, it was terrible universally panned by critics. I think it got has like a 60 something on Metacritic. It was just horrible in comparison to its GameCube and PS2 brethren. Just awful. Let's not forget that when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, the PC version couldn't really like stack up. The 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 thing is is that the specs required for the PC version were so ridiculously high the PC as the PC gamers out there at that specific time back in 2008 didn't really have the specs to uh, compete with it. So it ran like shit, everything was broken, it had to get several patches on PC to even be somewhat playable, and it was just a buggy mess. Same thing on PS3. So the console with the weakest hardware out of those three systems actually had the definitive version for a long time until the PC version was fixed. Let's not forget Rage when it first came out just a couple months ago. Virtually almost unplayable on PC until a patch came out. And in fact, let's go as far to say is that any game on that with Bethesda on it, pretty much besides uh oh what was that one with the girl and the guns? I can't remember that one. I think it was uh, I can't remember, <laughs> like war or something. Uh Pretty much this is bad on PS3. The Embryo engine, the game, Gamebryo, not Embryo, sorry, I, I forget that they actually fucked up that name. Gamebryo engine just doesn't work on the PS3. And Unreal Engine pretty much doesn't really that work that well on the PS3 either. You see, despite the PS3 having a stronger processor, it's terrible graphics card, the slave architecture of the cell processor and the fact that it uses open GL has just completely neutered that system forever because the majority of engines are designed to run on well the PC and when you have it run on the PC it requires DirectX and a lot of Microsoft's um, programming that's why the Xbox 360 is so easy to port to and that's why people usually port PC 360 PS3. PS3 is usually the last one. EA being the only company that the only third party company I could think of that actually develops on PS3 first, but 
a lot of their games run more smoothly on Xbox 360 and PC simply due to the fact that um, DirectX can handle their engines better. The issue with uh, you saying that superior hardware is better is that when superior hardware usually comes out, there's lots of issues trying to uh, deal with the new hardware. For example, when the Xbox 360 first came out, a lot of games like King Kong just were horrible on the 360. Whereas on the original Xbox, played just fine, looked just fine. Games like Gun had a lot of performance issues on the Xbox 360. Whereas on the original Xbox, played just fine. Um, the fact is, is that you believe, you just have these launch goggles on. Here's the, the hidden fact. Every launch for every system ever sucks. It just fucking sucks. The games on there are on unproven hardware, and they just don't perform as well as even the, la the generation before it. And you're going to have these launch goggles on even before the system comes out. That's just hilarious. So take your launch goggles off, wait till launch, and then try to tell me that Darksiders 2 is best on Wii U. When in reality, it'll be a slightly up Xbox 360 version with uh, gimmicks with the controller. Because that's what probably all Wii U games will be. And that's if Nintendo hasn't dramatically changed the Wii U since last E3. Samuel out.